what's going on everybody and welcome to your 32nd HTML and CSS tutorial in which we'll be discussing about external internal and inline style sheets in HTML so I guess I have uh, told you about inline style sheets previously but if not then no harm because I would be doing it right now so let's say I have a P tag right here and it has hello world so one way of styling this p tag right here is like style and doing like p color black or basically black is by default so i'll just do color red and let's reload this and i'm lazy enough to change the title so we got hello world in red color but let's say i just want to apply this um, color red specifically to this p so I know we got some methods to do that in the styler right here like p nth child 1 but to make things simple right uh, right now for now I just show you how you can apply styles some styles directly to the elements so to do that write your element name and press a spacebar and write the attribute style and inside the double quotes just paste your property and value now you must notice here you have noticed here that we are not using any curly braces or the element name because already the HTML and the CSS uh, knows that we are applying this style attribute on a specific element and these styles would be applied only to the contents of this uh, particular element on which we are applying the style attribute so even if we do like this the results would be same so this thing right here is officially known as inline style sheets now inline means that we are actually doing styles in line in one line so this is referred as inline styles so it could be uh, like pretty much complicated if you do inline style sheets for example let's say if I have a thousand of p tags on my website and I all I want all of them to have color red background black um, opacity 0.5 and let's say box shadow of 10 pixel black so we'll have a lot of a uh, bunch of long tag for that a lot of uh, text for that and your file and your document would eventually become heavier so in that case we can use this internal style sheet now internal style sheet refers to whatever you write inside the style tag the opening style tag and the closing style tag so you have to remember that style is a tag as well and an attribute as well for every element so with internal style sheets you could place your styles inside a opening style tag and a closing style tag but what if you have a thousand elements on your website and let's say you have to create styles for individually for every element like this and inside this they all have a lot of properties and values as well so this would create a kind of messy uh, this would appear like a fuzz so to avoid this we have what we call as external style sheets now external sh uh, style sheets are pretty much like giving a reference to a style sheet outside this document and telling the document to load that style sheet uh, and apply all these styles to the DOM we have so to include external style sheet what we need to do is let's remove these style tags type a, uh, a tag uh, with the name as link give it a space the attribute href the same one as we used with the a links and link href your style dot css now make sure to end your file with css because CSS stands for cascading style sheet which is the official name official uh, abbreviation the expansion of abbreviation of CSS and CSS actually refers to all the styling you do so CSS stands for cascading style sheets and in the href you give the path to your style sheet a uh, link href CSS uh, style dot CSS type text CSS now this text CSS would actually tell the browser that the file you're including is a CSS file 
so it would interpret it as a text one and a CSS one now we have another attribute inside this link tag to denote that we are actually including a style sheets and that is rel now rel basically defines a relationship with this element so the relationship of this file with this document is that it's a style sheet so link rel style sheet href style.css and type is text css so that's how you pretty much include a external style sheet to your document and as you can see right now I don't have any external style sheet named as style.css so let's go ahead and create one so I'll just tap control and n to create a new file and I'll just give it a space and save it as style.css in the dialog box make sure to save it the same name you have given in the link uh, tag so let's save it and we have got our style.css file right here and as you can see sublime already changed its ex uh, icon to css3 one so let's do some things with this external style sheet and one thing you need to notice we don't write any HTML inside the CSS one because the browser already knows that when you are including a style sheet then it should directly styles uh, start with the styles actually and directly end with the styles and nothing HTML no fuss so let's say I give body a background of black so that's how you write a let's reload this and that's how you write a external style sheet in your document so once I remove this uh, link uh, right here then this page has no idea where to locate this style file but once I add this then it knows that load all the styles from this file and apply them to this document so I hope the difference is clear between external internal and inline style sheets and that's all for this tutorial and I'll see you then next time don't forget to subscribe